I just feel lost. Like, I feel like I'm aimlessly wandering and I'm tired of it. Like, I'm tired of that feeling. I'm tired of that feeling of, you know, just staying in limbo. I'm tired of seeming like I'm not going anywhere, spinning my wheels. Hi friends, I'm Puya HN. Welcome to my channel. So, as you might know, I've recently released a cinematic video called The Shadow, which I really enjoyed making. And in that video, I only used Nanlite products as my light sources. Well, I actually made that video to showcase how I use those lights in my workflow and how creative you could be with those lights. And in this video, I've decided to take you through the behind the scenes and the lighting process of that video. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy. All right, in the first scene, I wanted to create a warm and moody environment, and the lights I used for this scene was the Forza 60B, Forza 300B, and the Pavotube 30C. As you can see here, I've put diffusion in front of the lights, and the reason for that is to make the lights a little less harsh and to create softer shadows. All right, now I'm gonna turn the lights on one by one so you could see the effects of each light individually. Next, we'll turn on the sleeping lamp, which was used as a practical light, which basically means that we see the light in the shot. And to accentuate its effect, I put the Pavo tube on the floor next to the sleeping lamp with the same Kelvin, so it will look like they're actually coming from the same source. Pavo tube is a great tool for situations like this, where you need this small form factor to hide the light. Now, let's look at the final result of this scene. All right, in the next scene, I wanted to make it look like there's moonlight coming in to make the scene look more dramatic and moody. So I've decided to use Froza 60 and Froza 300 together outside of the window to create the effect. I set the intensity of both lights on 100 and set the Kelvin on 6500. And to make the light softer, I put a flag in front of the lights as diffusion. And finally, to add some more drama and color contrast, I decided to put the Pavo 2 with a red hue inside the closet and I love the contrast it added to the scene. This is another great example of the flexibility and usability of Pavo 2. There's one more touch needed to make this scene look complete, and that's the haze. Not only it adds more drama, but it also makes the lights pop and it makes the light beams visible, which is so cool. And here's the final result.
All right, in the next three scenes, you see there's this tight light beam on the subject as if there's a sharp sunlight hitting through a window or something like that. But it was actually achieved using Nanlite's PJF Z60 spotlight lens attached to a Forza 60, allowing us to shape the light in any way we want in a very precise way. Here we're gonna create the beam by adjusting the lens and pointing it to our subject, and by changing the spotlight setting, we can create so many interesting effects. This attachment also comes with different gobos which you could put in front of the light and project different very cool patterns like window blinds, trees, stuff like that. PJF Z60 also has focusing ability, meaning you can focus the light and make the spotlight sharper or softer. Now to show you how cool it could be, I'm gonna show you some photos in which this attachment was used as the light effect. Very cool, right? In my opinion, this is a very powerful accessory and I highly recommend it. Finally, in our fourth scene, I put the Forza 60 behind our subject to fill up the scene from the back and I put the 300 behind the window to lit up the scene from the outside. Now let's add up some haze to make it look better and here you can see that the subject face is getting darker and there's some shadows being added to the scene. This was basically achieved by moving the flag on the 300 downwards to cut some light and create shadows, making it look like it's getting darker. I need to add that although this scene looks like it was shot during the blue hour, it was actually shot during the daytime and the look was achieved in the post with the proper color grading, lowering the exposure and pushing the blues in the shot, making it convincing. Alright guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I really hope you liked this behind the scenes video and if you did, please let me know in the comments so I'll be making more stuff like this and I'll be sharing with you more lighting techniques in the future. I'll see you on the next one.